We are four students matriculating at Fairfield University. Although we come from different backgrounds, study different fields, and live in different places within the tri-state area, each of us represents the population of Fairfield students that are Caucasian, female, and middle class. Throughout our years at Fairfield, we have had limited but similar experiences regarding racism and diversity. Our personal experiences of racism are limited because of the composition of Fairfield student population. According to the U.S. News and World Report, Fairfield student population is 42% male and 58% female. Petersons.com, a website that provides education content about colleges and universities, published in 2012 Fairfield University's ethnicity statistics. Hispanic Latino, 2.84%. Black, African American, 2.56%, White, Caucasian, 37.84%, American Indian, Alaska Native, 0.08%, Asian, 1.15%, Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander, 0.08%, Two or more races, 0.83%, Unknown, 41.33. U.S. News rated Fairfield on a diversity index scale of 0.0 the least diverse, to 1.0, most diverse, and they gave them a .17 in comparison to other universities across the country. Amanda is a junior at Fairfield University. As a young woman of Jamaican and Eastern European Jewish descent, she gives us a different perspective on the topic of diversity on this campus. Amanda, do you think Fairfield University students segregate themselves and associate themselves more with people of their own race? Yes, I think that people do segregate themselves and um, associate more with people that they feel more comfortable with or people that they feel more similar to. For example, last year when I lived in McCormick, there were a bunch of Hispanic girls on my floor and they were all um, friends. That's not to say that they didn't hang out with people of other um, other ethnicities. There were white girls or um, I think there are also um, some black girls in their group but it was a mainly Hispanic group or when I look at the basketball team sitting together eating at Barone they're mainly black I would say. And then on the other hand I think that it's not it doesn't stop with race. I think that maybe people with a different economic background or socioeconomic standing they'll gravitate more towards each other rather than um, maybe someone who's super, super rich and someone who's super, super poor getting together. I think that also is a deciding factor. Why is Fairfield so white? Our research has led us to the main reason for Fairfield's lack of diversity. The racial wealth gap is the biggest contributor, but not exclusive, in this factor. Fairfield is a private university with an expensive tuition. The tuition rate of 2012 is 54000 not including external fees such as books, food, and other monetary needs. This tuition rate is extremely high in comparison to other universities as well as other private institutions. Even with scholarship money and loans, many students cannot afford to attend this university and must seek other options. Those students who can afford the high tuition come from mostly middle to upper class families. When analyzing ethnic diversity within the middle class, a study by the Pew Research Center analyzed that in 2011, the Caucasian population possessed 20 times more wealth than African Americans and 18 times that of Latinos, whereas the average white family has accumulated $113,149 of wealth, the typical black household has only accumulated $5,677 in wealth. There exists the racial wealth gap in society today, which partially contributes to the lack of diversity in Fairfield student population. What is important to remember, as a student at a university that is composed of people most like you, whether that is black, white, or Hispanic, you have the opportunity to integrate yourself into a more diverse population and friend group. Diversity is skin deep. Even though our experiences with racism are limited, they have been powerful enough for us to recognize the lack of empathy that still exists in our generation for people that are different.